The following tutorial is brought to you by wholeloops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. 10 reasons why Autotune is the realist pitch shifting plugin in the game. Starting out with number one, it is the savior of vocal workflow. I could not imagine doing vocal production without this tool. Before I had that, I was tuning every single layer of my hook individually with Melodyne, and it took hours. And with Autotune, I can get the settings correct for one of them, copy the plugin down onto all the other channels, and be done with an entire stack of vocals just in a minute. Number two, this plugin is available on two platforms. You have the audio unit, normal Autotune 8, and then in the VSTs, you have UAD's powered plugin, the mono and the stereo version. Now, I own both and I choose whichever one I plan on using based on the circumstances, uh, and I'll be kind of covering that throughout the list. But the fact that you have this option is uh, kind of new because really no other plugins let you use it on and off a certain platform. Number three would be this button right here, low latency. If you're using the iLock version of this plugin, you could drop this right on a channel, click low latency, turn on your mic, and you're ready to rock with zero latency. When you're using the VST version, you get the option of pulling up a mono version of the plugin, which is great because I always record in mono. I only have one mic uh, or I'm recording one guitar. It's never something stereo. So it allows me to use half the processing power that I would use with a stereo plugin just by loading up the mono plugin from Universal Audio. Speaking of processing power, as you can see, when you load up this plugin, unlike the iLock version, as you add more and more plugins, doesn't really hit your uh, CPU that hard. We have a whole bunch of instances of Autotune open, whereas uh, if we were doing this with the other version, see how many it would take to crash this. And there goes my CPU. Now, the next thing that I love Autotune for is it's also just a basic pitch shifting plugin. In addition to playing my G major triad that I made a custom scale for, I use the transpose controls that you only get in the audio units version of the plugin. And uh, this is like pitch informants in Elastic Pitch or Little Alter Boy with these two knobs right here. Really useful. Uh, I tend to just use the other two plugins if I'm just looking for pitch shifting. But this actually sounds pretty good, and I did this whole intro just by making four different pitch shifted versions of this G major triad. It's... This did not take me a long time. I just literally clicked in this triad that I want and pasted it on all of them. Are you a music producer that loves making blazing hip hop bangers? Do you want your trap beats to sound extra crispy? Then get ready to shake the block. Introducing Urban Beats, the all new sample pack featuring exclusive trap loops, over 300 urban drum samples, and the most disrespectful 808s your neighbors have ever heard. Urban Beats is available now only at wholeloops.com. The next thing I love about this, I kind of touched on, was the custom scales. Uh, when you choose a scale, like if I were to choose G major instead of having put in my G major scale, uh, it takes you right to just the G major notes, but it doesn't show you the piano stuff. I much prefer to just uh, select chromatic and have G selected and hit set major. And that way it'll show you all the notes, but... In this song, we're just going to be using it's. Boom. Uh, the next thing 
that is amazing about the audio units version of this plugin. Oh my god, come on. Okay, bro. Is correction mode. Uh, if you are a user of Melodyne or Wavestune, you'll be very familiar to this. What it does is it takes your singing and it basically looks like MIDI on here and you can rearrange it like MIDI. To tell you the truth, I don't really use this. I will be uploading a tutorial next on how I use Autotune specifically to kind of polish up a vocal. And uh, it actually does not involve this part of the plugin. I really just stick to this first part. The next thing Autotune is absolutely amazing for is for creating melodies. When you are trying to come up with melodies, if you just kind of try and sing along with a beat with the Autotune cranked all the way up in your headphones, uh, most of it's not going to sound good, but there will always be some little gems of melodies that you didn't come up with that you'll hear just by singing and auditioning kinds of ideas and flows into the mic uh, for, you know, like you would if you're trying to come up with a lead. And the auto-tune will really like kind of suggest things as, uh, as you kind of go around through the notes in the scale. Number nine, another thing I love to use auto-tune for is tuning guitar leads. Whenever I record a guitarist, it's not always perfectly in tune and your guitar part just sounds so much better when it is perfectly in tune with the song. So if they're just plucking something or playing a lead melody, anything where it's just one note at a time, auto-tune will sound awesome if you just switch this instrument or bass instrument if it's a low note. And number 10 would be the ability to just switch between these instrument types. These are all presets for different kind of uh, formants depending on the source material and it really does sound good when you select the correct option here for what you are tuning uh, as opposed to a normal pitch shifting or whatever which kind of just gives you one for all having these kind of different options in tone really help your finished product just sound that much more realistic there you have it. Those are my top 10 reasons about why I love Autotune. I could probably come up with 100 more. If you were thinking about getting this plugin for yourself, I hope this helped you find some clarity as to whether you should get the $400 iLock version, the audio unit, or the $250 UAD version for their platform. Uh, granted, all of their hardware is super expensive. If so, even though the price is lower, you're still losing more money. But I really do use the UAD version most of the time now that I have both the old iLock version just doesn't get touched so much anymore. Uh, but if there's any other plugins you would like me to talk about, leave it in a comment below. Like I said, my next tutorial will be about using Auto-Tune to really polish up a lead vocal. So I'll see you next time. Peace out.